Hey guys, it is me, Alex. I know it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. This, this is not the point of this video, but I definitely will put out an update video on everything that's happened, everything that's gonna happen. But I wanted to hop in and take this opportunity to film a video for you guys. I'm going to a show today in Ocala for three days. It's a smaller show that we are going to because I am kind of putting a horse on trial for a possible lease and we decided that this smaller show would be a perfect way for me to do that. So I showed tonight in the qualifier class and then my championship, my qualify, which I should because I don't think it's that big of a show, um, is Saturday night. But I wanted to bring you guys along for the journey. It should be really fun. I'm riding a horse named Casey for short. Her show name is Far Away Kentucky Chrome. She is an American Saddlebred. She's five or six years old and I don't know her exact height, but I wanted to hop on here, make an intro for you guys before it got a little hectic. The style of this video definitely will be more low key and vlog style just because it's a show, it's hectic. I can't fake it. This is not a 100 jumper show. This falls under the ASB circuit, um, which is American Saddlebred. And a lot of these horses do saddle seat. I myself have competed in saddle seat, but I am showing this horse in country um, show pleasure hunter, which for those of you who don't know anything about it, um, the best I can explain it is it's like a hunter class flat but with a little more spice the horses here definitely carry more of a dressage style headset and flow rather than the long um, and low hunter style that many people are familiar with uh, so this is not a jumping show unfortunately but videos will be coming because i do have a show jumper here in town that i own bb which you guys may be familiar with that i'm definitely going to be introducing to you guys very soon. The hopes with this horse is that if everything works out, I will be leasing her and we're going to try to qualify for the world championships in Kentucky, which are in August, which will be super, super awesome. It's their first year putting a hunter class in. It's always been about saddle seat, but um, the hunter world for the saddle breads has grown a lot. A lot of great horses, riders, and barns really have contributed to making this um, official and in the world, and I'm super, super happy about it, and I know a lot of people are. It's something us hunter riders have been wanting for years, and it's finally here. We're definitely gonna go try to qualify for that and have some fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, um, and make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys wanna see, and I will see you guys very shortly. Okay. So, I'm currently on my way to go pick my mom up, and she's at her office. It'll take me like two seconds to get there. Don't yell at me for filming right now because we're just pulling out into my neighborhood, and I can drive like this in my neighborhood. I'm going to go pick my mom up right now from her office. I'm already getting yelled at for being late, but we're going to make it. It's 12 o'clock right now, and I show at 5 and we live like four hours away so like i don't know i definitely need to focus on driving right now so this is what i'm currently doing eating mac and cheese in my car waiting for my mom i was gonna yell that to hurry up and now she i don't know what she's doing she's just chilling bro waiting to leave it's now what time is it 12 18. i show at five so i'll keep doing check-ins until i get there Probably the rest of these clips will probably be like a scenic, fun, girly moment. You know what I'm talking about. Except I don't want to get copywritten on any of this. So I think tonight I'm going to be researching, researching. Um, tonight I'm definitely going to be looking up how to make my own mu music, how to make my own music in GarageBand. I'll probably be doing that until like 2 a.m. Who knows? Only the future knows. Okay, I'm gonna eat this mac and cheese. Yeah, okay, I need to stop right now. Look how pretty. gosh yeah i'm definitely going to walk around we have arrived mother would you like to be in this this is the mom who took me here 
So we arrived to the place. It's not that big, but the eventing course is huge. I'm not eventing, but it's cool. So this is the changing room. It's quite big. And it's nice. And this is our little dresser. And then photos of me as like a kid showing on my horse. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Adorable. We're gonna go walk the rink. doesn't look too happy. <laughs> this is her first time having her hair braided. It's too long. We haven't cut it yet, so she gets the long braid. You grumpy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The coat has been done. The members, the magnets, fancy. This has been your American Saddle Ride Country Club Hunter Pleasure. First in the blue goes to number 249. That's Far Away's Kentucky Crown. See what I can do for you. You bring your head down. Oh, baby bites, baby bites. So she's just so cute. Baby, oh, I am so sorry. Go, oh, that was rude. There we go. She was such a good girl. Where are you, Chrome? This camera. Oh, I have another one. Wow. This camera kind of sucks. For what I just dropped, my phone. Oh my gosh. Yes, you're a pretty girl. I think she has to pee, so I might get out because she probably won't pee with me in here. But you are such a good girl. You let me pet you? You're a little shy. You look grumpy. Look at those four white socks. So cute. Now that we're in a quiet spot, it's really nice out here. Like, Also, I am still really red in the face. I'm so hot right now. I know I've said that so much, but it is 93 degrees out, and it is 6.36, and it's 93 degrees out. 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I want to show here with my jumper, because 
it looks really cool like i'm not doing the best at showing the grounds hopefully tomorrow i don't show tomorrow so maybe we can go look around but there's the show jumping ring and then look there's people riding out in this grass field can you see um walk around with your horse the rest of the night is We're pretty much chill. chilling chilling this is the show mom right here the videographer sorry guys it was a little shaky a little bit but this is kind of a really small camera so it's not the best for show stuff but hopefully you know it's fine it's fine for stuff like this i really hope you can hear right now because the wind is probably really loud um rest of the night we're chilling uh, we have a lady named becky who's showing in the driving lighting sense. um and show pleasure driving i don't really know uh and then that's it and then dinner and then to the hotel which is like the best part okay so i just got done cleaning my tag in my boots um i don't really know what we're doing for the rest of the night everyone's shown i believe but here are my boots clean them i clean my saddle and i just turn the camera off um but yeah there's the brand i'm just showing it because i don't know how to pronounce it but they're really nice boots i only show in them and then i have some like 45 dollar practice boots fake left faux leather at home but anyways yeah today was really good and i'll keep you guys posted on what we do if it's fun and interesting but so far it's been pretty lax just cleaning tech all right so we just got to the hotel and we got chick-fil-a which is the best thing ever as you can tell i still need to take a shower and take my hair out and all that stuff but first i'm gonna eat because i'm starving um we're gonna eat some food and watch some tv and then i'm gonna shower and go to bed that's pretty much it but i'm gonna eat this food now okay so like a shower and 50 bobby pins later it is now time for bed and it's the end of the day oh so the end of the first day of the show pretty good i'm going to bed because i'm really tired it's 10 11 and tomorrow we're waking up early to go ride around the fairgrounds so it's really big and pretty and just to have some fun there's no show tomorrow i show saturday so tomorrow's a fun day um but other than that i hope you enjoy the first day I'm going to bed mom any last words good night good night y'all good morning just woke up it is currently eight oh eight um we're gonna go to the barn at nine or be at the barn at nine and go ride go for a little trail ride around the property okay so we kind of had a little bit of a dilemma this morning because i didn't pack enough pants or shirts because i didn't think i was riding today so originally i was gonna wear yoga pants but my mom said no but i ride yoga pants all the time whatever so i'm right i'm wearing the pants that i'm supposed to show in tomorrow which are these these are taylor sportsman's this is what is this this is just Lululemon. It's her shirt. I didn't pack enough shirts. And these are just Adidas socks. And my boots are at the barn. So, and my belt's at the barn too. So the outfit's not complete, but it'll be complete very soon. But yeah, I think we're going to the tack shop today. Maybe. To get stuff. New pants for tonight and more stuff.
spam. Y'all. So we just got back from the tax store. I didn't really film much because there wasn't much to film, but I did get a few things and I wanted to show you guys. So let's start with the coolest, biggest item, which would be a new show jacket. This is it. It's like this. Mm -hmm. It's by... It's by somebody called Alessandro Albanese. Don't know who he is, but he made a cool coat. But I got it because the material is like really, I can't really tell, well like you can tell here. It's really thin. Yeah, okay, the material is like kind of meshy. You can see it's a little see-through, but with a show shirt under, it's gonna be fine. Uh, we got it because it's way too hot right now to ride in a coat. I was about to pass out last night and now was at like six o'clock you can see in my face it was way too hot so we got this and it's really cute it's nice it's gonna be good for show jumping as well the color's pretty buttons are cute it's a nice it's a nice little coat i think it'll, it'll look good on on chrome and osmar b so that was the first thing we got so the next thing I got was also for tomorrow night because like I said earlier in the video, I used my show pants that I was gonna wear tomorrow night. Um, so we just got a pair of black pants. They're from the brand I Ride On. Never heard of her before, but they look nice. They also, they're stretchy. I didn't really want to buy, like we were looking at Taylor Sportsman's because those are the types of pants that I like riding in, um, but they're just too expensive for this show. It's not, no. So we got this. So as you can see, it's like a stretchy material. It's also pretty thin. So my whole like idea here is to not die of overheating. So that's nice. Um, and then the pen that has like knee grips or whatever, but just a you know pair of black pants there's white detailing on it so it'll look good with the coat that we got and a belt that we brought and then the last human item i bought was just this little show shirt or whatever uh that i'm gonna wear underneath this coat probably not for tomorrow's show but for more of the show jumping type shows i will wear this um well, of course at a show that I'm gonna wear a jacket at but so you know just a nice show one but sleeveless so again we won't overheat show season right now in the middle of the day in Florida it's way too hot so I got two pairs of these Equifit socks so my horseback at home BB he hates his boots like he hates them his front boots and his back boots they make him itch I'm assuming because he kicks up a lot of dirt in there and I'm sure I'll get this on video one day but what he'll do is he'll just rub his legs like this same with the back legs to try to get his boots off he hates them um but he'll only do it after the ride so that's what leads me to believe it's because of built up sweat and dirt and whatever so we got one in black and one in white because Phoebe has black and white um legs or he has white socks and black legs but yeah, so there's this brand called Gel Socks. No, not the brand. It's called Gel Socks. Then I got him a new pair of just bell, of just black plain bell boots. They are just this brand called Roma. And then the last thing was this Cowboy Magic Detangler in Shine. For anyone who asks why my horse's tail is so nice, it's because of this stuff. This stuff is awesome and it detangles the hair so well. You don't rip it anything out and it makes it very, very shiny as well. So I got the big boy jug. Usually I just get the tiny little tubes, but I go through them way too fast and they have this, so I scooped it up. So that's it for what I got. Um, I'm not gonna take a shower, go to bed, take a nap. And then tonight um, I'm not competing, but some of my barn mates are, so we're gonna go back and watch them. So that's it, we'll see you later. I completely failed 
to video for the rest of the day, but we really didn't do much other than sit at the show and then go eat. Mother, do you have anything to say? No. My mom ran over a really high curb today, so that was oh, yeah. exciting, that you know, was exciting. almost broke my car. But that's like all good. And now we're back at the hotel. But, you know, we just ate dinner. It is 11 o'clock. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. And we have to wake up in the morning. Um, and then I show tomorrow night in my championships. And then we're done. And then we go home. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end today here because I'm going to bed right when I get inside. So good night. I'll see you in the morning. Just waiting for the show to start. Come here. Hello, everyone. So I didn't really record much this morning. All we have done is we went to the show in the morning after I woke up, watched um, one of my barnmates show. But after that, we went over to the other side of the facility and they had show jumping going on. They had dressage going on and I think they were beginning to watch beginning to walk the event course so um we watched the show jumpers go um uh, and then after that we kind of just chilled around sat a little bit and now we are at the barn like the actual barn that we board some of our horses sorry about that my camera right out of space i think that i'm gonna do a barn tour as a whole separate video um because i'm gonna be up here a lot in the summer so i don't think i'm gonna give you guys a tour but i will show you some of the horses and all of that i just have a feeling that this video is already way too long and i don't really want to make this super boring but other than that um the next time you'll probably see me is when i'm getting ready or am ready to hop on for my class and my championship and show um um, that's pretty much about it. Let's go see the ponies. You ready? Hello everyone, we are 
back at home. That was way too excitable. We made it back at home last night and I crashed. It is currently, I think like five o'clock and I literally just got out of bed. But that concludes today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I hope it was entertaining. I didn't really film too much because I don't know, there wasn't that much going on. I still, and this is my first like show vlog. I don't really know what is interesting to watch, what isn't interesting to watch. Do I show the stuff that isn't horse related? Do I show just boring stuff like just hanging around with the horse or that's not even boring that's fine but you know i didn't know what to show so leave your thoughts opinions what you guys want to see um what i did wrong what i did right all in the comments and i definitely will fix it for next time um as far as this goes this was my first show as i said with this horse and it went pretty well there's a lot of stuff that can be improved a lot a lot of stuff both with her and with me and then us as a team um i don't really know you know where this is gonna go um the whole like i said at the beginning the whole thought would for this was that they just added a um hunter class in the world championships and we unfortunately found out at this show that to qualify for this class is not like most of the classes for this show. For this class, since they only have one hunter class, the max horses they can take in are 20. Um, so that being said, to qualify, they can't just take everyone in who qualifies because this is a really big division. People have been wanting this hunter division for the ASBs for the longest time. What they did instead was they base it on a point system, meaning for every show you go to, you get points. These points come from how many people are in your class. So the more people you have in your class, the more points you get. Um, the end to qualify for the show is June 30th. And it is now June, my calendar's right there, June 2nd. And this was our first show and there was only two people in my class. Yeah, I'm trying to be hopeful, but I'm also realistic. Yeah, that's pretty much that. I just wanted to clarify with you guys, keep you on track um, with everything that's going on. I hope that made sense. I don't know, I'm, I might just be rambling. But that is it for today's video and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, what else you guys would like to see. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. There will be many more videos to come. Um, I now that I have you know kind of an idea of what I want to do with this channel many more videos will be coming not only these types of videos I do have a show jumper that is my full-time horse if you will um, it's my own horse and I definitely will be probably making primarily videos on him but I thought it would be fun to toss this in not a lot of people know about the American Saddle Red world and they're such a great breed and it's such a great world um, and discipline and I really wanted to put that out there and share it because I don't think anyone else has um, on YouTube that I have seen um, but yeah so thank you guys so so much for watching can't wait to see you guys next and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys later